up everybody and welcome back to the Oak Tree Football Channel and welcome to another 2020 college football schedule breakdown and record prediction video. Today I will be doing the Texas Longhorns. So the Texas Longhorns is a pretty historic uh, college football team. Um, but recently they haven't been that great. They haven't been terrible. They just, have, they just haven't been great. Uh, and every year um, people are asking, is Texas back? Is Texas back this year? Uh, and the same is going for this year. People are asking that question once again. Of course, Texas plays in the Big 12, which I think can be a very, very good conference this year. I think there are a few teams that can be toward the top. I uh, challenge for a Big 12 championship game, and that is including Texas. Um, so last year they won 8-5. and five. Uh, they won in the Valera Alamo Bowl against Utah, uh, thirty-eight to ten. So it's a pretty big win, and Utah was pretty pretty good last season. Um, they played last year against two uh, two teams that made the college football playoff. Those were LSU and Oklahoma. They lost to both those teams, but they were both by only seven points. So they were very close. Uh, they lost five games, of course, and three of them were only by one score, uh, and two of them were by two scores. Um, their quarterback is Sam Allinger, who has been a pretty good quarterback. He hasn't really proved to be an elite quarterback, but he hasn't proved uh, that he's not very good. Uh, they've recruited very, very well. Um, their head coach is Tom Herman, who's who's he's been an okay coach. Um, one thing that he has done well is in his three years uh, since he joined, he this he's going into his fourth season as their coach. In the three years that he has coached them, they have won three bowl games, which is very good. Um. 2017, they weren't great. They went seven and six. 2018, they were pretty good. They went ten and four, and then last year, of course, they went eight and five. Like I already said, um, they they did lose some talent though. Uh, they lost safety Brandon Jones and defensive tackle Jordan Elliott on the defensive side, and then on the offensive side, they lost Devin Duvernay and Colin Johnson, who are both very good wide receivers. Um, at wide receiver now, they have Malcolm Epps and Brandon Eagles, who I think can be pretty good this season. Um, but we're gonna need to see a pretty big step up from them after they did lose some talent at the wide receiver position, um, but that is really all that I have to say there. Now let's get into looking at Texas's schedule. So like I said, they went 8-5 and five last season, and their recruiting class ranked was uh, the 8th best in the country, which is very, very good, especially because they are losing some talent. They will be getting a lot back, uh, and they start the season off against USF. I don't think this should be much of a challenge for them. USF was uh, pretty good a few years ago, but uh, this past year they were not that great. I believe they won only four games, uh, and I don't really see a reason why USF will be good again this year. Um, I mean, they might win a few more games. They might be around that bowl eligibility mark, but I really think it will be more of the same from USF this season, uh, probably around that four-game mark uh, to probably around seven wins, I would say, at best case. Uh, I don't expect a good season from USF. And this game being at home for Texas, I think it should be a pretty easy win to open the season. Week 2, they have a very tough game, though. It's at defending champion LSU Tigers. The LSU Tigers obviously were unbelievable last season. One of the best teams college football has ever seen, uh, to be honest. Um, they are losing so much talent, though, uh, all on the offense and the defense. Joe Burrow, Clyde edwards uh Justin Jefferson, those are just some some examples on the offense and on the defense, Grant Delpit. Um, they're just losing so much talent. Uh, and they still have a good team. Uh, and they still are well coached, even though they are losing Joe Brady. Uh, that's another thing they're losing. But they still have Ed Odron, who's a very good coach. And they still do have talent. So I do still believe LSU can be a good team this season. Uh, and that's why I see uh, Texas having a lot of trouble in this game, especially being on the road. I do think that these Texas and LSU are actually on similar levels of talent. I think LSU is a bit better, but uh, I, I do think that Texas is pretty similar to them based on talent. But just this game being at home for LSU, I think that if they're not already better, I think that because they're at home, that will probably get them win. Week 3, they have another game that I don't think will be much of a problem. It's against UTEP at home. This one should not be much of a problem. UTEP is not that good of a football team. Texas is pretty good of a football team. Uh, and this should be a win. So at this point in the season, I think they have at least two wins. Because I cannot see them losing against USF or UTEP. Uh, I could even see them beating LSU. Um, but I could also see them losing. Week 4, they have a bye week. This is not a good position bye week. Um, because you do not want to have an early bye week. Uh, and because they don't have that tough of a game after, I'll get to that later. Uh, it's not that tough. It's pretty tough, but it's not that tough. Very poorly placed by 
Um, they should not be happy with this, especially after playing one of their easier games of the season. Uh, if it was if they were, it was coming off one of their harder games, that would make more sense. Not a good place by for Texas. Week five, uh, I, like I said, this game could be okay. I mean, it could be pretty tough. Can it's at Kansas State. Kansas State is actually a pretty underrated football team. Um, they were pretty good. They did have some big wins this past season. Um, and they were an okay team. I believe they were actually ranked at one point. Um, and they are a pretty underrated football team. And this game being at Kansas State, I could see Kansas State giving a serious tough challenge to Texas. I do think Texas is better than Kansas State. Uh, and I do think if this game was at home for Texas, it would be a win against Kansas State. But because, uh, Kansas State, um, is the home team for this game, I could see Kansas State winning. I'm leaning towards Texas, but uh, I'm not counting out um, Kansas State by any means. I would not be surprised if they get the win. Uh, they don't have that many big-name players that many people recognize, especially if they're not that big of a fan of college football. But as a whole, they are a pretty good team. And I could see them challenging some some teams this season, such as this, uh, this Texas team. But I think it should be a win for Texas. Um, it could be Kansas State, but I do believe it will be Texas. Week 6, they have another insanely tough game. Um, it's along with LSU. This is probably the toughest game of the season. Uh, it's in a neutral stadium. Uh, and it's in Dallas. A neutral stadium in Dallas, which is pretty close. Uh, it is still in Texas. But it's against Oklahoma. Um, like, like I said, this past year, they played two uh, college football playoff teams. And they're playing both those teams again this year. The first one being LSU. Uh, and then now Oklahoma. Um... Like I said, this is a neutral stadium game, uh, and it is pretty close to home for Texas, being in Dallas. I'm mean, Obviously, it's not a home game, but uh, it is a lot better of home field advantage, I would say, than Oklahoma. Uh, it's not terrible for Oklahoma either. Um, I do feel like it will be a pretty balanced crowd in this game. Probably a few more uh, Texas fans, but there will probably be a lot of Oklahoma fans as well. And this is going to be a really fun game. Uh, Oklahoma, even though they are losing some talent, such as C.D. Lamb, they are still a good football team. Spencer Rattler's coming in at quarterback to replace Jalen Hurts. Uh, I think Spencer Rattler has potential to be good. Um, I think Oklahoma has potential to be good. They still are a very good football team when, at the end of the day. Um, and they're going to be good again this season. They could be challenging for a playoff spot again. They've made the playoffs four times, um, which is one of the best, I think. I know that Alabama has made it a, a lot of times as well, but I think it is up there as one of the best um, teams making it to the playoffs uh, since the playoffs started. Um, so uh, this game is going to be tough for Texas. Oklahoma does have a lot of talent on that roster, like I said, even though they are losing talent, that doesn't mean they don't have talent to fill the positions um, that they lost. I am leaning towards Oklahoma in this game. I would not be surprised if it's Texas, though. Um, I could see Texas winning this. Uh, I think there's a better chance that Texas beats LSU than Oklahoma. Um, I, I think this will be an Oklahoma win. Um, I'm not 100% sure, but I am leaning towards Oklahoma. Uh, week 7, this one should be a pretty easy win, in my opinion. At home against West Virginia. Uh, since Will, Will Greer left a few seasons ago, West Virginia just hasn't been great. I didn't expect uh, that much from them this season. Uh, and I do think this should be a pretty easy win for Texas being at home in this game. Uh, I think this should definitely be a Texas win. Uh, week 8, they play another Texas team. They're playing Texas Tech. It's at Texas Tech. Texas Tech is a team I think could surprise a lot of people this season. There is definitely talent on that roster. Talent that some some people might not really know about. That I think more people really should take a look at this Texas Tech roster. And really see that this team has potential to be good this season. Even though they are losing some talent such as linebacker Jordan Brooks. They are still a very good football team. Um, they are the home team for this game, which is why I could see Texas struggling. I am leaning towards Texas, but I could definitely see Texas Tech putting up a fight. Week 9, they're playing a very good team from last season. It's Baylor. Baylor is losing Matt Rule as their head coach, which is really going to hurt. I think Matt Rule was a very, very good head coach. Um, arguably one of the best in college football, and I really think he deserved that move up to the Carolina Panthers in the NFL. Um, 
I just still think Baylor will be good this season. I really think that, uh, I think they'll be good, like I said, because there is still talent on that roster. Even though they are losing some talent, uh, I think they're definitely going to be worse than last year. Um, and I think they're just going to struggle in road games, especially. Uh, I think if they're at home for some of these games, if they're at home against Texas, I could seriously see them putting up a good fight. But just because Texas is the home team, I really do believe it will be Texas in this one. I think Baylor can put up a fight, but I'm not really sure if they will win this game. Week 10, they don't. Uh, they have a game, not much of a challenge. It's at Kansas. Of course, um, not being at home isn't great, but it is against Kansas, and Kansas is not that great of a football team. Um, so I do think this will be a Texas win, even though it's on the road. Week 11, they're at TCU. TCU is a team that's losing a lot of talent, some of their best players. Um, they weren't great last season, and they're losing some of their best players. But they are a team that I think could be decent this season, and, and I do think they will step up from last year, and I know I'm not alone in saying that. Um, but I don't think they're going to be as good as Texas. I think TCU could potentially be around that six win range, try and get a bowl game. Um, but Texas is not a game I expect them to win, especially not being at home. I got Texas in this one. Week 12, this is a very interesting game for me. Um, so, so earlier in the video, I said that there's only a few real teams that I think can challenge in the Big 12. One of them is Texas, one of them is obviously Oklahoma, uh, and then one of them is the team I have here, uh, and it's Iowa State. Iowa State is a very, very interesting team to me. I could see them being really good with Brock Purdy as their quarterback. I could see a big season from him. I could see a big season from Iowa State. But we could also see, uh, I think it's, I think we could see something not great from Iowa State this season. Probably we could see them, at worst, probably around that six win range. But at best, this is a team that can win double-digit games this season. So Iowa State is a very interesting team to me. I think... I think Iowa State can be on the better side of college football, but I am leaning towards Texas in this one. Just being at home, I think that should be enough to get them to win. I would not be surprised if Iowa State won, though. 100% I could see Iowa State winning, but I'm going to go with Texas. And then Week 13, uh, they have another very tough game. It's at Oklahoma State. Oklahoma State is a team I'm really, really high on this season, higher than some people. I know a lot of people think they can be good, but I'm higher than a lot of those people. I think Oklahoma State is a team that can be a one or two loss team. I think they'll be double digit wins this season. Uh, and I think we could see them in the Big 12 championship game. Um, these, so, like I just said, um, uh, there really is only a few teams I could see challenging in the Big 12 this year. That's Oklahoma, Texas, Iowa State, and the fourth one is Oklahoma State. Um, I really do think Oklahoma State can be really, really good this season. They just have some really good talent. They, are, they aren't losing too much. So if Chuba Hubbard, which really Chuba Hubbard might be enough to get them a rank, but just because some of the other talent they have around him, I really think they can be a very, very good team this season. Um, and this game being at home for them, I'm leaning towards Oklahoma State in this one. So now, as I always do, I'll go through each game once again, and I'll give my prediction for who I believe will win, uh, and then we will end up and see what Texas 2020 record uh, my prediction will be. Uh, USF, I think that's a pretty easy win. Uh, I don't see much of a problem there. Week 2, I've got them losing to LSU, even though LSU is losing talent. I still think they'll be a good team. I'm taking LSU. I think they can beat UTEP no problem. Uh, then they have their bye week. I think they can beat Kansas State. I think it can, it can be close, but I, I do believe they will win. Uh, week 6, I don't see them beating Oklahoma. Um, this is one of the few games that really I don't think there's that much of a chance they can win. I do think it's a possibility, but uh, I, I'm not very hopeful for Texas in this game. I've been beating West Virginia, Texas Tech, and Baylor. I don't think they'll have that much of a problem in those games. I don't think they'll have a problem week 10 either against Kansas. Week 11 against TCU, just being at home, I think that'll be enough to get them a pretty easy win. Uh, week 12, I do actually have them in this game. I think it'll be really close. I would not be surprised if Iowa State won, but I am. I am going to take them in week 13 against Oklahoma State. I'm going to take Oklahoma State in this one to give them a record of 9-3 and three on the season. Um, So this is a pretty good record. I'm Obviously, it's not perfect, but it's not bad either. Um, I really do think that Texas will be pretty good this season. I think they'll improve from last year. I think there is definitely talent on this roster. 
Um, I think worst case, probably five losses if I really look at it. Obviously, the three losses I have here. And then probably against Iowa State. And then I would say Kansas State just being on the road for that game. I think that might be a tough one. Um, I could see them beating LSU. I could see, see them beating Oklahoma State. Potentially, I could even see them being, beating Oklahoma. Um, I don't think they'll go undefeated. Um, best case scenario for me is probably 11-1. Um, because even though I could see them beating LSU, Oklahoma, uh, and Oklahoma State, I think they will lose one of them. So for me, uh, worst case scenario... Uh, will be seven and five, and best case scenario is probably eleven and one, and I will give them a record of nine and three. So this is what I think about the Texas Longhorns this season. What do you guys think about the Texas Longhorns? Tell me in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe for more daily NFL and college football content. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video.